Do some basic. Let me make sure my phone's paired with it so you can call some people. Oh yeah. That's a lot more fun when there's something to do. Okay, what I'm gonna need you to do is just click the the phone button right there. Click yes. There's one called Uvo. Just click that one, and then click connect. This is normally what you do when the car's in park, just get it all set up and then you're, you're good that, to go. It's you're connecting to your phone right now? It's connected to my phone now. So now you're connected. Now I could show you the address book, which I'll, I'll show you. You Ooh. click on, um, just let it, you can click OK if you'd like. You have T-Mobile, will it work with my Verizon phone? Absolutely, this is just a prepaid phone we have. Interesting. Just to, to test with. If you, you come on in if you look, oh, no, not so much. Uh, click on phone, I'm sorry, click on setup, sorry. Okay. Click on phone. Now hit phone. Click on contacts. Now you don't really have to do this. I'm just letting you know the people in my phone book. Yeah, yeah. So just so you, when you're gonna say a name to call. So yeah. you go back to media, all the way to the left. Okay. Like so, you're listening to music, you can turn up the music. And then you hit the voice recognition button. Wait till it Please beeps. Say a command. I didn't say that. Call Alex. Call Alex. Which contact or phone number do you want to call? Alex. Alex? Which contact or phone number do you want to call? Alex. Calling Alex. That's brilliant. Now what happened is it picked up on you say call, but it didn't pick up on you saying Alex. So mm -hmm. it did it in two different steps. If we were if we would have heard you clearly the first time it's call Alex, it wouldn't even have put you to this prompt. Yeah. So you want to end the call by pushing the red button red button on the steering wheel. Or that one too. Oh yeah, right here. That's that's really interesting. Hit the voice recognition voice voice recognition button on the steering wheel again. Say call Please Howard say Lim. Command. Call Howard Lim. Calling Howard Limerick. See, so, it doesn't have to do it in two different steps. I can just do it in one and, step. and it's my phone. so It's it, your phone, so it automatically updates your address. When book. I say call Kelly, it'll, it, I mean, it just reads correct. The, that's, that's correct. That's great. So and, it automatically transfers over. And you can ask for different uh, music of you. Absolutely. So you I can put my music on here? Yep, we're going to get to the music part now. Okay. On the upper right, there's a thing called Jukebox. You can click that. What it does, it holds up to 200 of your songs. You can upload it by either using USB or by by copying from a CD. So we're gonna plug this into the bottom down there where it says USB. This is your iPod. This is well, this is our iPod. And, and iPod. And, that's, yep. that's right. Exactly. Once I plug that in, I now have no control. If you look at the screen up oh, there, yes, I, like I now have no control of this iPod at all by using the iPod itself. If I click any button, it's it's. It'll nothing. charge the iPod too. It'll charge the iPod, it's but great. all the control of the iPod is all verbal and all on the screen. Yes. So one of the things on there is Jay-Z. So if you want to just hit the voice recognition. Yep. Please say a command. Say, play Jay-Z. There you go. Sorry. Play Jay-Z. Playing iPod. Artist Jay-Z. Yep. Automatically recognizes. Now, what it does, it does it in a, a systematic way. First, so check your jukebox. If it's not in your jukebox, then don't go to your device that's plugged in. Please say a command. Shuffle. Shuffling. Yes. So that's what it automatically do. That's crazy. So, if if it's on your jukebox, it'll play that first. If it's not in your jukebox, then it'll go to the device that's plugged in. In this case, it could be a USB stick. It could be a Zoom. It supports others. It could be an iPod. That's correct. correct. And it charges all of those while it's doing Can I say? it. Call and listen to 88.5 FM. Correct. So you can do oh. that too. So you can say FM 88.5. Let me talk. Please say a command. Listen to 88.5 FM. Radio 88.5. That's probably not gonna, it's kind of difficult to talk from across the car. Sorry, Casey. I'm having trouble understanding oh, you. PBS. Please use the display <laughs> for your command. You can also press the speak button. So you say, say what you would do help. is you'd say FM 88.5. Okay, okay, ready? Please F say a command. FM 88.5. It's not even picking you up right now because it's too far away. Please say yes. a command. F FM 88.5. Try one more. Please say a command. FM 96.3. Radio 96.3 FM. So if you just want to know that you're already in here, you don't even have to say FM anymore. You can just say 88.6. Mm -hmm. So you can go hit the, the thing. Please and say, say a command. 
88.5. You just might not be loud enough. That's what it might Sorry. be. Sorry. Sorry. 88.5. Oh, didn't like me either. <laughs> Essentially, that's what you would do if you just want to hit voice control one more let's try it one more time do we have serious yep so it's not pro actually yeah, so it's not part of one yeah. but essentially since we have one station if you click voice control on your thing please say a command serious 184 but serious channel 180 we're obviously already there yeah. but so it didn't really look that amazing but, it would do that. but so if i did i'm an fm please say a command 88.5 Me either that time. Okay. It's gotten used to my voice. What Sorry. About, <laughs> what about 88.5. Navigation? This one right now does not have navigation. We have navigation and we have the UBO system, but we haven't integrated them together yet. It comes out summer of this year, so there's still time. Does this have a backup camera on it? Sorry, it has a backup camera. When the car is put in reverse, it. it automatically turns into a backup camera. Please That's say correct. a command after the beep. You can also say help. Help. <laughs> Good point. All right, if you want to. Let's just show you one more thing. Okay. Please say a command. Read SMS message. Oh, that's great. SMS. First a message from plus one this five eight six three zero six three zero zero eight. Welcome to the Kia display. I hit the voice you can recognition. Say next. Hit it right now. Call. Reply. To send. Can't talk right now. <laughs> say one. To send, call you later. Custom. Say two. It's not set up to right now, send, but in the summer it will be set up. Mm, like say you can send say SMS. three. Correct. To see more messages, more. say more. No, to change again. this. I like that. Two. Send, no, call you later. I'm just going to confirm yes or no, so hit the button. Two plus one. Yes. Sending message. <laughs> So it's all done. You didn't hit the screen once. It's all done from the steering wheel. Now this command. is this is on the Sorento. It will it's be on the, on the Forte. Right now it's just gonna be debuted in the Sorento, mm -hmm. um, but they're gonna roll roll it out in their 2011 lineup. Okay. Now how about uh, like, I guess this will be in the future, but will Hyundai's get this too? No, not right now. Fair this enough. is just strictly a, a Kia technology. Interesting. So I just kind of showed you the progression of what it does, and then if you want to go back to you know, so for instance, let's play Kings Please of Leon. Play Sex on Fire. No. Sorry. Dang. Kings of Leon. It doesn't know. Did you say you soon Lily Allen? No. No. So you know all the Sorry. song the only song they have is you somebody. Oh, you somebody. Yeah.